in today's Eye on Entertainment, we are kicking Emmy Week off right here on CBS2. The awards air this Sunday. Right CBS here. CBS2's entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez joins us now with a preview. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Pat and Peter. This is such an exciting time. Emmy Week on CBS. I love it. <laughs> the Emmys broadcast live from the Microsoft Theater at 5 this Sunday. Don't forget to tune in. But after the show, guests will move over to the convention center for the Governor's Ball. It is outrageous, glamorous, decadent, over the top. But don't forget, it's also environmentally friendly. <laughs> The Emmy's Governor's Ball is a feast for the senses. The theme is golden grandeur, from the floor to a massive gilded art installation in the air. Opulent, yes, but also eco-friendly. All of the stunning decor used in this elaborate production will be recycled or reused. All of our stage materials, all of the platforms, etc., either get used by us and productions afterwards, or will go to local theaters, local student groups to use in their production. Patina Catering is hosting a three-course dinner. The first is titled Last of the Heirlooms, marking the last tomatoes of the season. The main course is pan-roasted filet mignon, and dessert is a brownie bar with gold fleck glaze and gold leaf. Yes, it has to go with the decoration of the room as well. The leftovers are going to the nonprofit LA Kitchen. We want to make sure that nothing goes to waste. 5,000 bottles of Ferrari Trento Italian sparkling wine will be popped, which means 30,000 glasses, starting once the guests leave the show and the party begins. They will be met by a black carpet that is bedecked with tables of thousands of glasses of Ferrari that have been freshly poured. Philip Ashley FedEx 25,000 of his handcrafted chocolates from Memphis, Tennessee, with a flavor for every palate. And so we're doing things like the champagne chocolate with the Emmy statuette on it to elderflower, Meyer lemon curd. We have a French blue cheese chocolate. There's a maple pecan praline. There's a mango roasted habanero. Delish. Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins just closed a deal to make the sequel. According to Variety and The Hollywood Reporter, she'll make between seven to nine million dollars to write, direct, and produce the film, making her the highest paid female director of all time. And that's before any pay on the back end where the numbers could just jump from there. Wonder Woman grossed 800 million at the global box office. She was paid a million dollars for that job, but now she is really in the money. And now back to the Emmys. They are right here on CBS2 this Sunday at 5 p.m. Hosted by Stephen Colbert tomorrow. I'll be interviewing Stephen, who is hosting. It's going to be a lot of fun. And Pat and Peter, they sent over the official oh sparkling wine for the both of you. You're Thank both you. working this weekend. You'll need to toast after all of that great coverage. Party on the set. You know how quickly I grab this, right? Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Susan. <laughs> Susan, you always make it exciting, though. Oh, yes. She it's going to be fun all on the, the red carpet. Shows. So, yes, after the show's all over, yeah, I'll try and score a, a glass out in the field. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be on the desk with you guys more often. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, you didn't know what you were missing, Peter. <laughs> Thanks so much, Susan. Thanks, guys.